Milton School started life on the 25th of July 1910, named after Sir William Milton. However, the buildings situated on Barrow Street, Bulawayo, are now home to Milton Junior School. Milton and Evelyn First State maintained high schools in Rhodesia. Milton and Evelyn were officially opened on the same day by Sir William Milton, his wife Lady Evelyn, Sir Charles Coughlin, and the Mayor and Town Council, Sir William Henry Milton. December 3, 1854, March 6, 1930, was Mishona Land, played rugby for England and was South Africa's second cricket captain. Born in Little Marlow, Buckinghamshire, England, Milton played rugby for England in 1874 and 1875. Milton emigrated to South Africa, arriving in Cape Town in 1878. By the late 1870s, Rugby football was very much battling to survive against Winchester College football. Milton joined Villagers Club and preached the cause of rugby. By the end of that year the football playing fraternity of Cape Town had all but abandoned the Winchester game in favor of rugby. He had three sons, Cecil and John, both of whom would play rugby for England, and Noel, who played for Oxford University. He made his test cricket debut in their first game of all at Port Elizabeth in 1888-89. He was made captain for the second test at Cape Town, replacing Owen Dunell, and made his third and final appearance, again at Cape Town, in 1891-92. He played three other first-class games, two for Western Province and one for Cape Town clubs. Milton then moved to Mishonaland and under the influence of his friend Cecil John Rhodes was Mishonaland's third administrator from July 24, 1897 to January 24, 1901. In 1901 it was decided to combine the administration of Mishonaland and Matobaliland that had been separated three years before and Milton then became the administrator of the whole of southern Rhodesia. He retired in 1914 at the age of 60. In 1922, the biggest school in Bulawayo at the time was renamed Milton High School in his honor. He died in Cannes, France at the age of 75. Milton High School is the jewel of the history of Zimbabwe. It endures its pillars tall and flourishes all over the world. The memoir of our school we value it as a precious tool to keep us together. How or do we reckon to store such magnificent history? It should all be written down so every generation gets to taste every fountain waters of Milton and benefit from it. Long back ago energetic and goal-oriented students designed a magazine called the Milton Times according to the The Miltonian magazine that dates to 2000, it acknowledged the Milton Times as the most immeasurable seller in that time and surpassed its counterpart Milton observers. Sadly it has been about 20 years without the Miltonian and the Milton Times. A lot of history was lost during that time not because the school failed but the economy defaulted us. We never discontinue yes I repeat we never quit. Our watchword stands as a symbol is contemptuously to restore Miltonian magazine yearly and the Milton Times Journal to restore our vital history by apprehending all lost history through partnership with every old Miltonian. Every one word counts because we are a big family that stretches around the world. Our school needs us as much as we need it. If we hold our hands unitedly it's possible to lift back the pillars of the school. Instead of complaining and crying what should be or could be let's walk our long talk and personification of what is there within our hearts. We are the whole world has been watching us closely and the critics have been punching the tusk. We always view things positive and respect everyone's view. We have been through triumph and did mistakes repeatedly. This makes us similar to everyone else but we remain different because we lift our tusk, get away from the mud and admit every consequence that falls in our head. Milton High School gave us a lot but pause a bit and think deeply since it has given you the shield and sword to fight the roars of the world, do you still give her the iron and necessary tools to sharpen other calves that are facing backlash and don't know what it is to wear the Milton uniform? 
The executive, administration and school stuff can't do it all alone. We need to be together, every baby step that we will take will renew Milton. The journey won't be easy but quitting for us is not an option. 